I want to show you how you can incur additional profits as a licensed motor vehicle dealer by charging what's called an administrative fee. The state of Missouri allows dealers to charge what's known as an administrative fee. And this is a fee that you can charge your customers that basically covers your administrative costs, like cost for paper, internet access, stamps, and things like that. And the state does have some tight regulations on these. Right now, as this video is being recorded, the maximum amount a dealer can charge for an administrative fee is currently $565.38. Now that fee changes every every single year because it's tied directly into the consumer price index. So in your dealer training class, I'll let you know what the updated maximum fee is for that specific year. Now, if you're going to charge $565.38 administrative fee, I mean, that might anger some of your customers. That's more of an acceptable price if you're doing some real high line vehicles. But if you're selling vehicles, say, for example, in the five to 10 to 15,000 range, a more acceptable fee by your customer might be $99 administrative fee or $199 or $249. So you're going to have to really test your market and find out what's acceptable. But the state does have some strict guidelines on these. You know, the majority of your profits are normally going to be the markup of the vehicle. So we're going to go into these dealer auctions with your dealer license. You're going to buy vehicles low at wholesale, mark them up as high as you can and sell them at full retail or above on your dealer training, on your dealer lot. So with that being said, the, the markup of your vehicle is normally going to be the majority of your profits, but the state does allow you to ad incur additional profits, such as the administrative fees. Now, Missouri dealers are strictly prohibited from charging what's called a document preparation or a document processing fee. You have to be a licensed motor vehicle dealer in the state of Missouri to charge document preparation or document processing fees, but li licensed motor vehicle dealers are allowed to charge an administrative fee. So in the class, I'm going to be clear with you and make sure that you never charge a document preparation fee or a document processing fee, but we are allowed to charge an administrative fee to incur additional profits. Now, I'm going to talk about this in your class as well. If you do decide to become an administrative fee charging dealer, which is very easy to do, you're just going to set that one administrative fee and charge that same fee to every single customer. And I'll talk about those guidelines in the class. And the state is going to actually take a little bit of that fee and require it be transferred to the Department of Revenue. But if you think about this, the majority of your profits will be the market of the vehicle. But if you're also charging, say, for example, a $199 administrative fee, and even if you only sold 10 vehicles a month, you're looking at a nearly $2,000 increase in your profits. So in your class, I'm not only going to talk about state law, I'm going to throw in some profit strategies that I've learned over the years, training many, many entrepreneurs just like yourself to get into this industry. I give the classes for the state. Once again, my name's Dallas Johnson. The state does require that you do take a four-hour training class in order to get your license. I hold the training classes in very comfortable hotel meeting rooms all over the state of Missouri. You can go to modealer.com, click on that class schedule link, and as you see right there, I give classes in Kansas City, St. Louis, Springfield, Columbia, Cape Girardeau, and also in St. Joe. So hopefully you'll be able to find a very close and comfortable training location for you. There's no test in your class. You just have to set through the entire class and show me your identification at the end of the class. And then I'll give you your official Department of Revenue certificate of completion. And you will need to submit that with your license application. Once again, my name is Dallas Johnson, and I would really appreciate you allowing me to serve you as your dealer license training partner. And I want to wish you the very best of luck with your business.